is Maddie. So today I am doing my January favorites. I have a couple of beauty products and a few other random ones, so I'm going to get started. So my first favorite of the month is this Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss, and this one is in Sunbaked. I showed this in my What's in My Backpack video. It's just something I carry around with me all the time, and I love this because it's such a neutral shade. It's kind of like Velvet Teddy by MAC, um, like a, a dark brown pink sort of color, like a dark nude. I don't have to worry about finding a color to match my makeup because this one will go with anything and I've been taking this to school with me and to work and everything and it's just one of those go-to lip glosses. I don't really like lip glosses because of the shine that it gives off but this one isn't too bad and it's really opaque. I will probably buy more but for now I'm sticking with this one because it's a nice neutral that I can just wear every day. So I have a favorite video game of the month, and it is Paper Mario Sticker Star for 3DS. And I just think it's super adorable. You go around the town saving toads, and you collect stickers, and you fight off Goombas and stuff. So I just think it's really cute, and it's fun. And I have nothing else to really compare it to, because I've never played any of the other Paper Marios. So I really like this. I've heard it doesn't really compare to the other ones, but since I've never played them before, I've been really enjoying this one. So I have been watching a ton of Netflix this month and I have been watching American Horror Story and Parenthood like crazy. American Horror Story, the first season is on Netflix right now. It's actually creepy and I can't even watch the intro. The intro just freaks me out so I have to fast forward through that part. But the show itself is super good and everything is so morbid and twisted and I just can't even believe the stuff that they're allowed to put on TV. And I didn't really start getting into the show until after the second episode. The second episode is where I realized like it's actually creepy and I don't know I just think it's really good so I've been watching that and I also started the second season which is the asylum one and I think I like that one even more what's interesting is that they don't use the same characters from the previous season it's not a continuation it's a completely different storyline they have um, a few of the same actors from the first season but they play different characters so it has nothing to do with the first season and I think that's why some people stopped watching it after the first season because the second season had nothing to do with the first but I really like it. I think I like the second season more. Evan Peters is in it and he's one of the main characters and he's so cute. <laughs> and what's really weird is that the guys who created Glee also created American Horror Story which is so weird to me because they're two completely different shows. I've never seen anything like it before and I think that's why I like it so much so if you guys watch it or if you guys start watching it let me know what you think of it. And the second one that I've been watching is Parenthood. There are three seasons on Netflix. The fourth season just ended on TV. So I'm on the fourth season right now and I love it so much. It's about a super huge family. So there are two parents and they have four kids who have kids of their own. So they're grown up. And it's just about their huge family and they're all really close and it's just really lighthearted and it makes you laugh and it makes you want to cry. It's just really good. Let me know if you watch these or if you start watching them and what you think of them. I have another beauty favorite and it is this little box full of mascaras. It's called the Mascara Discovery Collection. It's from QVC. It comes with eight mascaras and a lot of them are like deluxe sample size and there are a few full size ones. And out of all of them that I've tried, my favorite is probably the Josie Marin one. Um, this one is the Argan Triple Volume Mascara and I love it because it separates your lashes really well and you can put a ton of coats on and it won't clump which is always nice so I've been using that one a lot. Another really good one is this IT Cosmetics one and it is called Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Treatment Mascara and the wand is insane. There's like a smaller tip at the end to get like the outer corners and your lower lashes if you want. So that one's really good too and I love the packaging, it's really cool. And my least favorite that I've tried will probably have to be the Smashbox Full Exposure one. I just feel it doesn't coat my lashes enough, it doesn't really do anything for my lashes, so that one's probably my least favorite, but I've had so much fun trying out all of these, so I've been really liking this. And my last favorite of the month is an iPad app, and it is called Paper. And when you open it up, it 
Well, when you open it up, there are these journals, and you can add them, delete them, you can name them whatever you want, you can customize the way they look. And I have one for my doodles and another one for my notes. So you open it up and you can flip through the pages. It comes with 10 pages and you can add or delete pages if you want. And yeah, you just doodle and I don't know, it's really neat. And it comes with a fountain pen and an eraser, I believe. And also a whole bunch of different colors that you can choose from. If you want more tools, like more brushes, they have pencils and pens. If you want those, you have to pay for those. And I actually paid for mine because I wanted to try everything out. And I love all of them. And also, you can pay for a mixer where you can mix two colors. You can mix them together to create your own colors. Yeah, it's really fun to just doodle and you can take notes and I really like it and it's free so that's always great. And if you guys try it or if you guys know of it, let me know what you think of it. I have really enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a wonderful January and I have a lot of videos planned for February. Um, lots of like Valentine's Day related ones so I hope you guys enjoy that. But for now, that is it and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Okay, bye!